Hi guys, Dr. Albert here. In this video, we will be talking about vitamin D, vitamin D supplements, and what are the health benefits of vitamin D. Now, I get these questions asked a lot in practice, and I wanted to share with you all this bit of information, so I hope you find this video helpful. Now, vitamin D deficiency affects a lot of people, unfortunately, and study shows that 1 billion people are affected worldwide with vitamin D deficiency. Now, we obtained vitamin D through two sources. We obtain it from sunlight or sunlight exposure. So about 20 minutes out in the sun gives you about 20,000 international units of vitamin D. And so when you're out in the sun, make sure you don't put any sunblock on because sunblock blocks the UVB absorption into your skin and hence your body doesn't produce the natural vitamin D it needs. So for those that are concerned about getting burnt, what you can do is you can go ahead and apply a natural SPF. And my, one of my favorite would be coconut oil. Coconut oil has an SPF of four to five. So you can go ahead and apply it onto your skin every few minutes to reduce your chances of getting burnt. And at the same time, you're increasing your exposure to the sunlight so your body can get the uh, right amount of UVB to make the vitamin D it needs. Now, the second source that we obtain vitamin D is through supplements. And unfortunately, we can't get it through food, but we can get it through supplements. There's two types. There's the over-the-counter supplements that comes in a range about 800 to 2,000 international units daily. And so depending on where your vitamin D level is, your doctor can increase your over-the-counter vitamin uh, supplements. And then there's a prescription vitamin. There's two types. There's the vitamin D2 called ergocalciferol. It's a green capsule. It's a 50,000 international unit that's taken once a week. And then there's a vitamin D3 called cocalciferol. It's a white capsule, also a 50,000 international unit taken once a week. Now, the difference between these two is that the ergocalciferol or the vitamin D2 is prescribed to patients that have renal disease and to patients that should be on a short-term vitamin D replenishment. Now, the 50,000 international unit capsule of the vitamin D2 and vitamin D3 seems a little scary to some people, but in essence it's not because one international unit is equivalent to 0 0.025 micrograms of vitamin D. So when you do the math, a 50,000 international unit of vitamin D is equivalent to 1,250 micrograms or 1.25 milligrams. So for those that are watching and are taking vitamin D prescription, the 50,000 international units is not as, uh, as large, so in essence, it's a really small dose. Now, vitamin D is a fat soluble vitamin, so you definitely want to take it with a meal to increase absorption. And for those that are taking these medications, such as steroids, Orlistat, which is a weight loss medication, cholestyramine, there's also phenobarbital and phenytoin, these medications reduce the absorption of vitamin D in your body. So when you're taking a vitamin D supplement, just make sure you separate it apart about two to three hours from, the, from those medications. Now there's a huge list of health benefits of vitamin D, but some of which includes, it helps to support and boost immunity, it helps to lower blood pressure, helps to improve sleep and mood. So definitely give vitamin D a try into your diet and lifestyle, whether if it's from sunlight exposure or through supplements. Let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments below. Thanks, and we'll see you in the next video.